Samantha, Meghan Markle's half-sister, has filed a new lawsuit against the Duchess for defamation, saying that the way she has been represented has prevented her from working. The 59-year-old is contesting a court decision that dismissed her allegation that Meghan painted her in the role of a lying, racist, fame-seeker. According to court documents, Samantha claims her image has been tarnished, publicly and on a global scale, by her Duchess sister. The statement, which the son was able to get, goes on, she has made it so Samantha cannot work, or even enjoy the most mundane of activities, like going to the grocery store without harassment. However, the lawsuit was earlier called to be rejected. It concerns remarks made by Prince Harry and Meghan during their controversial 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey and in the December 2022 episode of the TV series Harry and Meghan. As stated by Florida Judge Charlene Edwards Honeywell in March, Samantha failed to identify any remarks that could support a claim for defamation. The lawsuit was dismissed with prejudice, which meant that it could not be easily reopened, but Samantha's attorneys were adamant about changing that ruling. Filed at a Florida court, the records assert Samantha was shown as someone who is out to damage Meghan and to capitalize on the harm created. Her attorneys now contend that Judge Honeywell neglected to consider the inferred slander that results from leaving out information. Meghan was spared from a trial that was scheduled to take place at the Tampa court in November thanks to the March ruling. Samantha has been suing Meghan for defamation and defamation by implication when Meghan implied to Oprah that Samantha was an only child. Samantha is suing for at least $75,000. Meghan said that Samantha didn't rename herself Samantha Markle until after she started dating Harry. Samantha believes that Meghan made similar accusations in the Netflix series, and that she was the target of humiliation, shame, and hatred on a worldwide scale as a result of the assertions. As per Judge Honeywell's 58-page opinion, Meghan's words cannot be deemed defamatory due to their being substantially true based on judicially noted evidence or not susceptible of being constituted defamatory. The judge declared that Samantha had not made a plausible allegation that they are defamatory in the first place. Meghan's remarks regarding her upbringing were given weight by the judge, who pointed out that she was merely opining about the fact that she and her half-sister Samantha did not have a close relationship. As per Judge Honeywell, Samantha's assertion that Meghan implied that she was a liar and a fame seeker was an improper mischaracterization of the Duchess's remarks. The judge acknowledged Meghan's claim that Samantha changed her name back to Markle from Rasmussen, her married name, when the Duchess started dating Harry, saying that the gist was true. Based on the record's documents, which the court has taken judicial notice of, she wrote, that plaintiff used one last name and then the name Markle soon after reports of defendant's relationship with Prince Harry were published is substantially true. One of Harry's quotes from the Netflix series, perhaps the most troubling part of this is the number of British journalists interacting with and amplifying the hate and the lies, was included in Samantha's assertion. The inclusion of this statement in the complaint, however, is puzzling and raises questions about haste, legal ignorance, or a lack of vigilance on the part of plaintiff's counsel, according to Judge Honeywell. Since the statement makes no mention of the plaintiff, it is unclear how it might be considered defamatory of her. Judge Honeywell concluded her ruling by writing, Plaintiff's claims will be dismissed with prejudice, as she has failed to identify any statements in either the book Finding Freedom, the Netflix series Harry and Meghan, or defendant and her husband's hour-long televised CBS interview that could support a claim for defamation or defamation by implication by this point, her third try at amending her complaint. Prior to the Princess of Wales disclosing her illness, Samantha had also intended to request a witness statement from Kate Middleton. However, she had made it clear that Kate's recovery from cancer is a priority. Samantha stated, I think it's important for everyone to know that my attorney put this out there before anyone knew about her health challenges. During an episode of Wooten's outspoken online talk show on March 18, Samantha's attorney, Peter Tickton, expressed his belief that the princess would be able to offer a valuable witness statement during the trial. I thought Catherine could provide some crucial insight into what had happened because there is clearly a serious problem between the two of them, he stated. Only two days after Meghan turned 43, Samantha filed her new, and possibly final, appeal. An oral hearing is what her attorneys plan to ask for, though a date has not yet been established. Oral argumentation is desired as the issues may require some clarification, 
they stated, The Duchess suffered a new setback when she appeared on CBS News Sunday morning and discussed the suicidal thoughts and emotions she had as a working royal. The Suits actress initially opened up about these emotions to Oprah Winfrey in March 2021, stating that she just didn't want to be alive anymore as a result of the harassment she was receiving online. This time, Markle expressed to host Jane Pauley her hope that her openness will assist young people everywhere in navigating sentiments they may experience from browsing the internet.